Okay, one of the things that I wanted to show you is the effect of water in the airlines. So what we're going to do here is I've got the unit set at, at 90 PSI. I've got the flow controls turned all the way out and I've got the cushions turned all the way in. So we have a very fast but yet very robust system here that should last a lot of years. Uh, I'm going to activate the air cylinder several times so you can see how fast it operates and its characteristics. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to de-energize the system and with a little bit of help of a cup of water here, we're going to screw this thing up. I just put a bunch of water in our airlines. Alright, so I'm going to do both airlines, I'm going to put some water in the airlines. Something that you do not ever want, but unfortunately in a lot of these plants you have. It's so important to have dry air when you're running pneumatics. Okay, now we're going to energize our system. Now. Well, what we're going to be doing is pushing water into the cylinder and you'll see the effects here. See the notchiness? See how it's acting strange at the end? How it doesn't want to come back in anymore? What's happening here is we're trying to compress water inside of the cushions of the air cylinders and it's just plain cannot compress it. The water's got nowhere to go and the water cannot get through the openings that are, that are in the little valves of the cushions. So it'll sit out here forever. And you also see that when it operates, it's very notchy. And it's hydraulic now against that, against that return. Also notice all this water that's spraying out of that solenoid getting pumped through the air cylinder, pumped through the air lines. It's making a mess of things. And in order to make, to clear this out now, we're going to have to turn those cushions all the way back out and get that water out of that cylinder. Okay, well we're clearing the water out now is what we're doing. So we've disconnected the extend and we're going to cycle the Okay, go ahead and put that back on. We should also turn this cylinder upside down. Get that, get that water to flow out of that cylinder best that we can. All right, hook that one back up. All right, now again, Get the water out of that cylinder, best that we can. All right, yeah, let's get this water out. It takes a long time to get a water water out of an air cylinder. They don't like it. Okay, now the other thing that we have to do is we have to turn the cushions all the way out now. There. So we have to let the water out of the cushion area of the end caps. So let's hook things back up. Okay, now that we've manually gotten as much air out of the cylinder, or excuse me, water out of the cylinders as we could, and we've got the cushions turned all the way out, now we're going to cycle it. You see how it's slamming in against the very end? So right now we've got no cushioning effect on this air cylinder again. Okay, now it's time to turn the cushions back in. Okay, now we've, we're going to turn the cushions back in. Again, clockwise. And again, I'm going to turn them all the way in. There. 
also here all the way in all right now we can mount the cylinder again and operate the cylinder watch this area right here oh look at there it's working again There you have the effects of water in an air cylinder.